Hello, today we are in Sturgis at Red's Bar and Grill with Kat. She is a bartender here. This is such a fun, cool place. Talk a little bit just about the history. Well, our owner, Sheree Shriver, she ended up uh, buying the place in 2005, and it's had a couple names, but it's the same people, same faces, same great food. Um, she started out here and just wanted to bring a taste of Cajun from Louisiana. She's from DeRitter, so get a little bit of a different atmosphere than just the normal burgers and fries everybody else has. But we still offer Cajun food here. We have red beans and rice, gumbo, catfish, po' boys. We still have that good stuff, so. Yeah. Now, you touched a little bit on it, but talk a little bit about sort of the atmosphere you're creating here. Uh, just good food, man. Like, really, honestly, we enjoy eating here just as much as our customers do. When we tell you something's good, it most likely is. So, uh, we just enjoy serving people and being part of our community and just having fun and enjoying ourselves. So we have everything you can imagine. We have anything from burgers to pasta to barbecue plates. Then we have homemade soups that our owner makes every day. Uh, we don't know the ingredients because that's our secret recipes and people come back for them, let me tell you, on that. But uh, yeah, it's really good food. <laughs> what would you say your favorite dish is here? My favorite dish is uh, hard pressed, honestly. So I really enjoy the Cajun pastalaya. That's one of my favorites. The sauce she makes for it is spectacular. But the French dip is one to be in the running. I mean, that thing is delicious. And I've had a lot of French dips and I can say I'll eat here more than I'll eat anywhere else. So we have a wine and beer bar, but we also have a wine-based liquor. So we are able to make you anything that you can think of. Our biggest selling points are usually our sangrias and our Bloody Marys. And I can say that my Bloody Marys are top-notch. <laughs> and you have indoor seating and outdoor seating as well? Yep, we do. We have a large patio that we have a lot of people come out and they sit and enjoy. A lot of seating for bigger groups, so during rally that's always a pretty good spot. We enjoy living here. We're all locals. I mean, we really work here. We know our regulars. We know our locals. We remember their drinks and food. I mean, we enjoy seeing everybody. And, you know, we always make sure that when our military comes in or our police, they get discounts. Or if not, their meals get paid for. I mean, that's a big part for us. We like to support our community and we like to be here. So, realistically, all that I'd say is just that, you know, with everything going on after COVID, if anybody gets confused with their questions of why our name changed, it purely had to do with the fact that during our close down during, during uh, COVID, we weren't able to understand if it was rapid or surges for those orders. So we ended up just making our name changes so it got a little less confusing for people. But like I said, it's the same people, same everything. And you know, we're still kicking it even with, I'm sure, the shortage everyone's experiencing. We're still kicking it here. We're still cooking up that food. We're open every day, you know? Yep, so it's a busy day for all of us. All right. Well, thank you so much, Kat. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for stopping in.